My name is Alicia Ramacha and I'm an artist who works across mixed media and embroidery. So when I was young, I used to watch my mother embroider all of our clothes. She was a seamstress um, and she picked it up from my grandmother who was also a seamstress. While she was embroidering all of our clothes, we all just used to watch her all the time and she made it look so easy and it was just so smooth the way she did it. Um, and I always thought I, was, I wanted to try. So one day when I was in La Salle, we had an exhibition that I had to do. Um, and I wanted to try something new, obviously. So I picked up the embroidery and I created three forest scenes for the show. And really those three pieces is what kickstarted like the rest of my embroidery career. Like I just, I couldn't stop embroidering when I was done. Once I started, I just wanted to make more pieces all the time. And it was just so much fun. There was something so therapeutic about it. I loved it. Another thing that my family's always done is they've always, as long as I can remember, they've always been very, very into the idea of just using what you grow to heal yourself. So again, I grew up on my uncle's farm. He's, he's got a farm in Tanka, Malaysia. Um, and for as long as I can remember, he's always just like, girl, look, everything you need you, to live off, you can find on the land. So we, I would be like five and we'd be walking around this huge like forest. It was like a forest because he's got so many plants. And we'd be walking around and he'd point out like, he's like, okay, so this is Misai Kuching. You're going to drink this and it's going to help with diabetes. Like you're going to drink it when you feel sick. And then he'd point out like, okay, so this is ginger and this is all the things you can use it for. So and he was like, he just did it all the time as children. And we like, we do, we do the same route. We'd walk an entire round around the land and like look at all the different plants. Um, and it wasn't even just the plants. It was also how he grew them. So he was always talking about how you give all of your care and time and attention to these plants. Like you really care for them, you water them, you cherish them and then when they grow, they also in turn give back to you. So it really is a lot of like the energy or like the love and the care that you give to things and they also in turn, you know, they return that to you. And I really wanted to just capture what like the forest or what the plants look like without drawing it or I wanted to do something that was like almost like an installation but not really. Um, so at first it was really just getting out that forest with embroidery on cloth and then the more I did it, the more I loved how it felt, how it looked and it just, it's very therapeutic. I think, like it, to me it feels the same, like you look at plants and you feel a very certain kind of calm and it's also, it's the same calm I feel while I'm embroidering. It's, very, it's a very therapeutic feeling, the both of them to me are exactly the same. So yeah, again initially with the colonist style botanical drawings, they did it did come and they did document well the way that they documented all the plants really was solely again for research or for cataloging but again this is a thing that people don't realize or that they don't realize is that these plants have been around for centuries before like ayurvedic medicine chinese traditional med medicine it's it's been around way before western medicine came on right so i think Again, with my embroidery, part of what I'm doing is trying to reclaim that. So during the workshop, we'll have people come and pick from... So I'll have a list of the net, like the plants with natural remedies that we use. Um, they can pick one, we're going to draw it out on paper and then draw it on cloth and then embroider it. But during the workshop, we're also going to discuss maybe natural remedies that they or their families have used, but maybe they aren't so aware of or maybe things that their mothers or grandmothers have made them do or maybe you know they, they have their own family remedies or traditions and I thought we could just discuss that and then share more of like the plants they grew up with or like what they what their knowledge on this is and so I just think it's, it's a nice way also to spread information it's a huge joy for me also to, like when people are learning how to embroider when you pick up a new skill like the fact that I'm able to share a new skill and also knowledge, which is, for me, it's, it's really lovely.